when you're starting out weaving it's hard to know what sort of resources are going to be worthwhile um, especially with books you don't want to be buying all kinds of books and then finding once they arrive to you or um, especially if you're buying them online you they arrive and then they're not quite what you thought they were I'm just going to share a few books with you that I have found really good for uh, beginner uh, rigid header weaving and beyond as well um, so starting with this one this is a really great beginner one this is uh, weaving made easy by Liz Gibson Liz Gibson is a great teacher and these are simple very doable projects but you know nice smart projects and there's also a bit of information in there on setting up your loom and um, the different things that you need to know uh, another book which I don't have with me is the weavers uh, sorry is woven to wear that's by Marilyn Murphy um, that is for like if you're interested in weaving garments but the garments are really simple once again they're all doable a lot of them are kind of plain weave and um, just if you're just starting out sewing uh, with your hand woven fabric that's a really good book because it's um, using big shapes to make garments so there are, there's no finicky little seams and bits and pieces so that's a good one too uh, another one which I don't have with me is um, Sign Mitchell's new book about little looms sorry I can't remember the exact titles it, weaving on a little loom or something like that just look for Sign Mitchell this uh, this book I got from the library recently is very comprehensive actually it's a little book but it's very thick and um, there's heaps of information in there and it's got it's good for beginners because the, the first section is for beginners and then it goes beyond that right into intermediate um, weaving with two heddles weaving all sorts of textures and um, twill and all of that so it's really really comprehensive uh, a bit more involved if you're a beginner you'd probably just want to take the first section because you might feel a bit overwhelmed looking at the rest of the stuff but then again you might find it really inspiring looking at what you could be doing in a little while with a bit of practice okay this is probably one of the books that I would choose if I had to just choose one or two I'd be choosing this one Weaver's Idea Book by Jane Patrick um, this just has so much in it especially if you're interested in making textures and patterns and um, you know really giving you a loom a workout and seeing what you can do with pickup sticks and two heddles and all that kind of thing um, I got this book pretty early on when I started weaving and I've never regretted it it's a really a really good one and finally this is one of my faves at the moment it's uh, Weave Knit Wear by Judith Shangold and if you are interested in making garments this is a really good book um, some of the things I like about this book is that Judith likes to use lots of color and design to make her garments stand out most of her garments in this book are plain weave but they don't look like it so that's right up my alley that's the sort of thing I like to do uh, is to you know use color and design to make things look more amazing than they actually are with plain weave I like that idea uh, and then she's got um, there's a lot of info in here she's got the design layouts for the garments so that if you're not an experienced sewer you can get your head around you know how a garment actually looks when it's laid out there's little illustrations um, there's oh, another thing I really like about this book is it is a crossover between knitting crochet um, so combining other techniques as well to use with your weaving um, which I really like I love the idea of you know added, adding a knitted edge here and there or um, knitting a neckline or wrists or whatever it is um, to sort of maximize the functionality of the garment um, what else do I like about this book the um, yeah just the concepts of of designing garments something perhaps I don't have so much experience with 
uh, I'm experienced with sewing but not so much designing so I really like this it sort of broadened my outlook on what you can do with your hand woven cloth um, which is cool and yeah as I said looking at different design yarn, yarn uses and all kinds of things so um, as for beginners I'm not sure maybe if you're a, a really enthusiastic beginner you might be into something like this but um, what I'd recommend for any book if possible grab it from your library first find out if they've got it find out if they'll get it in for you because I can't tell you the number of times I've asked my library to buy a book a weaving book they've bought it and I've read it and thought so glad I didn't spend my money on that book because it's just not me um, and then if you find that the book is you then you can purchase it yourself but try the library first and um, purchase you know if they don't have it or if you can't find it um, another thing is to borrow from your weavers guild and if you've got weaving friends well swap those books around just do it it's a blessing to have weaving friends and to be able to share materials like that so there are a few books to get you started um, let me know in the comments if you know of any other books that are really good because I'm sure there are heaps that I haven't even heard of and um, I'd like to look into them too. Thanks for watching.